What's up everybody? Happy Sunday. Merry Christmas coming up. It's been a couple weeks since my last vlog as you know and I am actually holding the new GoPro Max. So it does like all the 360 footage and it's actually a pretty good vlogging camera. This is my first attempt at doing it but I've got a little screen where I can see myself. The microphone is aiming at me. So now I don't have to use my phone as much. Should be fun. I've had a great couple weeks. Work has been very busy and I will tell you right now I've got a great surprise coming up later in this vlog. I just got off of FaceTime with my parents. We talked for probably an hour. I did record, but there was a two or three minute segment that was just hilarious that I had to record. I was able to record it with my phone. So be on the lookout for that. Love them, they're doing awesome. The Russian's actually getting pretty good. As you know, I serve my mission for our church in Russia, in Samara, Russia. And so I'm able to teach them some cool phrases, help them with some pronunciation. It was a lot of fun, actually. We just we just got off the, the FaceTime right now. But wanted to tell you, give you an update on my life the last couple weeks. Been very busy with work. We did a huge event for the Army-Navy rivalry football game, which was such an honor. And I've got some cool clips from that, some cool pictures. There's only so much that I can share. I will say it was an absolute honor to work in that environment and at that venue. We put on a huge adventure hunt throughout the city of Philadelphia, downtown area, and people had a ton of fun. We had several hundred people compete to win. They won iPads and iPhones and uh, tickets to the game, field passes to the Army Navy football game, a trip to Panama, the Apple Watch, Sonos speakers. I mean, so many amazing prizes from USAA, who was the sponsor of the whole event. USAA is an incredible company, by the way. Love working with them. I have uh, just arrived in Philadelphia for the, uh, ah, the Desperate and Lonely Singles <laughs> Hey, Greet, did you get your food? <laughs> All right, we are here at the first annual, the 2019 USAA Army Navy Adventure Hunt. Here at the finish line, this is the Ray Street Pier under the Ben Franklin Bridge. We are going to throw this baby off the pier. All right, here we go, let's do this. Yes, okay, so this is the test here. This is what teams will be doing. Hastily pulling it up. And I guess from here they gotta figure out how to hand it to their teammate. Which <laughs> shouldn't be too hard, but the Rocky Steps. Bailey showing us how it's done. Rocky Steps. Garrett, let's do this. Gotta get our steps in from the adventure hunt. We didn't get to include this in the hunt. It was too far away from the city. Oh Garrett's trying to beat me. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> no, we're oh, not no, there. Dang it. <laughs> I I won. Dang it! <laughs> We're here at the Army Navy game with my man G Funk. And USA gave us the tickets. We've been working with them a lot, so thank you, USA. Thank you, James. Uh, he's our main contact there. I want to show you guys something cool that uh, Garrett and I were awarded. It's our first, it's our first medal of honor. Probably the only one we'll ever get in our lives. But uh, James and USA gave us these. It's the official coin for the game. And apparently it's a, it's a really big deal. It's like a token of their appreciation. These are a pretty big deal to get. So we just want to say thank you to them. Thank you to USAA. We're honored to have these. We're honored to be here at the game. Garrett's Go Navy Beat Army. Go Navy Beat Army. I'll say Go Army Beat Navy.
From there, we went up to New York. I thought, oh, we're so close to New York, how could we not go? New York at Christmas time is absolutely magical. And we only had two days, but we, we did this new thing called The Vessel, which I had not been to ever before. I did an internship in New York years ago. Loved it. In fact, you know, I'm gonna throw in a montage of some pictures from my internship in New York. Here they are. So I lived in New York when I was 23, lived there for a summer, absolutely loved it, it was incredible. And I've been back several times since. Last time I was in New York was probably three years ago. So it's been three years since I was last there. The, this place called The Vessel had not been built yet, and it is this incredible structure. It kind of reminded me of these drawings you'll see where it's like a staircase that is impossible to find the start of the end, eternal staircase. And somebody saw that and essentially built it. And it is so cool. It's free to go up, you have to have tickets, but the tickets are free. And it's actually cool they do that because then they regulate how many people are on it at a time, which I'm sure is a safety precaution, as well as just making the overall experience more enjoyable for us. Such a cool structure. Alright, here we are on the other side. They've traded places with Garrett and Susanna, and there they are. You can come take a picture. On top of that, we went and did the Brooklyn Bridge, you know, which is a staple, you gotta do that. And then it's Christmas time, gotta go to Rockefeller Center and see the big Christmas tree and the ice skating rink and Saks Fifth Avenue and the big production they put on. And of course we did some Times Square stuff. It was a really fun trip with some friends. Uh, met up with some friends there, met some people there. And it was mainly me and my friend Garrett who uh, works with me and you've seen in some other videos, but. The Brooklyn Bridge living is actually not cold, not windy. Oh, we got a model here on the bridge. <laughs> okay, we are here at Times Square and there's girls on the other side of this camera that think they're the ones being filmed right now. <laughs> Idiots! <laughs> <laughs> Had a ton of fun, so that's what I've been up to. Getting ready for Christmas and talked with my parents. And here is that two minute clip, which is hilarious. You right? 
And I said, well, and he's say, obviously well, trying. And they said, yeah, and they said he's, baby, he's clear over here. You're supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> And so by the time I realized who I'm supposed to be guard and get in a place, they've already made a layup. That's how easy it is. <laughs> how old are these guys you're playing against? Uh, they're, well, they're... One's older. One's the a little, but the other's a younger. Okay. Like my age. I'm sure they Probably. love having you out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you what. We laugh a lot more than we play ball. I'll I tell you that. <laughs> Uh, Are you always the last one? <laughs> <laughs> do you shoot for teams? I'm like, pick me, pick me. <laughs> well, okay, here's what we do. There's six I of us. I think they pray that dad doesn't come. <laughs> oh, man, I'm here again. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so here's what we do, Sean. This is a true story of missionary activity so we um we get over there and there's six of us and so we usually just kind of shoot around and you know <laughs> laugh a little bit and then we say okay now let's do it so we line up at the foul line and the first three to make it are on a team and that's what we do yeah. and so and that's still there on Tuesday. <laughs> <It's> Tuesday. <laughs> have you ever made it have you ever made a foul shot Yes, I have. Honey. Well, I have once. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just put it this way, Sean. I wasn't blessed with some athletic things, but I'm having a really fun time trying. <laughs> and he honestly comes home in the best mood. He just, I mean, he's talking crap in the kitchen. I'm like, oh, we're Dude. trash talking. That's true. I mean, his hat's on backwards. He's like, fuck. <laughs> With this white shirt on. It's bad, Sean. It's bad. Uh, so you're wearing a church shirt to play ball. Pretty much I did, yeah. One I said, honey, sweetheart, you can't wear that. And he said, well, I slept in it. I'm glad mom's side of the family had some athletic genes for us. I know. And the girls are all like, we just need to go over one time and just like support her husband. Yeah, I'm like, please don't let the girls show up and see any of this. Oh, uh, it's so fun, though. We just laugh. And there's plenty of trash talk going on, that's for sure. And... <clears throat> So the other day, uh, so on Monday night last week, I was kind of in one of those basketball <laughs> moods, I guess. Anyway, so I found a, a video of Michael Jordan's 50 greatest plays. And man, that guy was amazing. He's, he's practicing them. <laughs> <laughs> I think he started a little younger than you. <laughs> I've always been a late bloomer, so... <laughs> Yeah. Uh, wait, was it on YouTube you watched it? His yeah, greatest... it was. Michael Jordan, 50 greatest plays. And you want to know what the number one play is? It was against the Utah Jazz. Yeah. The one where he kind of charged in and then stopped and stepped to the side and made the shot. Yeah. That's the number one play. Yep. Yeah, it's because yeah. it was a game winner, series winner, last shot of his Bulls career. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, All right, one, try two, it. three. Spassi. Wait! Wait! <laughs> No. Is it on two we'll or three? It. Wait, but we're going to count it. <laughs> One. Adin. Adin. Duva. Three. Spasiba. Daslu. No, my gosh. <laughs> Take two. All right. Take two. Duva. Three. Spasiba. Daslu. Nice. Spasiba. Daslu. <laughs> So how, how funny are they? I love them. And they even got the thank you, we love you at the end, as you noticed. Spasiba, vas lubim. It's actually even the same number of syllables, which I tried to figure out how to best say it because there's different ways you can say thank you, we love you. One more thing before I go. In all of my travels, I have been using this really cool nomadic backpack. 
Nomatic, N-O-M-A-T-I-C, Nomatic. And they sent it to me for free two or three years ago for Adventure Hunt. And at first I wasn't sure what I thought of it. I had a cool backpack that I liked, but I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try this one out. And immediately it became my favorite backpack. Like I have not even touched my others since. And now they've just given me, I've decided I wanna try the roller. You know, I've always been a backpack guy. I kinda wanna try the roller case because I just feel like it's more convenient. And I rarely find myself actually needing the backpack feature. Rarely are you in a position where you can't just roll something along more easily anyway. So I got from them the roller suitcase that's a carry-on size and then a smaller backpack and come check these out. Okay, so I actually repackaged them because I figured you should see the great boxing that they have and the great packaging. So got my buddy Tanner helping me out. But check this out, Nomadic, life on the move. Packaging is very, very nice. So this is the backpack, which I was very excited about. Travel size backpack, a little bit smaller than the one that I have now, uh, which is exactly what I wanted. The beauty about this though is it expands. So it, let me show you all these cool features. So you've got your tech stuff, your computer, your laptop, your, I even take a portable screen with me so I can fit that all in here. Laptop there, my secondary screen there. You can do a tablet, whatever. And it's very like TSA ready. Love this, the water bottle expander. And it's magnetized. So when you're done, it just magnetizes back in. Isn't that cool? And then it's got these side handles. So if you wanna carry it kind of like a briefcase, you can actually tuck these straps away. So it like kind of like gives more professional feel. You've got that. Cool little hidden pocket. So you could like put your cash, your wallet, your passport, kind of in this very hidden pocket. Very cool. And the whole thing has this little gap that I can slide onto this bad boy. But this is just the nicest backpack there is. I mean, I freaking love this thing. And it was very cool of them to send this to me. Very grateful, it's got all these extra pockets. Okay, you can see all this extra gear here. And then let's go to the inside real quick. Opens up nice and big. It's got the waist straps. So if you ever wanna do the, the waist belt. Again, more pockets, more stuff, compression stuff. It's got this sunglasses case. It's like a hard case. You can throw glasses, sunglasses, eyeglasses. Looks like it even comes with a nice microfiber pouch. These guys honestly thought of everything because I travel honestly probably more than anyone I know. And these are things that I would have thought of. These are things that I like. Like, oh, I need a place for my sunglasses where they won't get smashed. All these little extra little pockets just everywhere. Oh, it's a key thing. You put your keys there and it retracts back in. That is freaking awesome. That's another thing. Wow. This thing is already, in my opinion, the perfect size for like a, a weekend trip. But say you need to go a little bit more. Look how much bigger it just got. Isn't that awesome? So now it went from a 20 liter to a 30 liter backpack, just like that. So I mean, there, you, you would never need more than this and this. So this is the roller bag. I decided I wanted to try a roller bag out. And so this is carry-on size. This will fit in the overhead compartment, hard case. The zippers even lock in place. Isn't that cool? You can't like, can't unzip it unless you know the combination. But this is just your typical carry-on size roller bag. Which I've not used much, but I'm excited to use it here. But they've got the different compartments and all that stuff. But what I envision doing is this. Just like that. So again, this is all from Nomadic. These guys are amazing. Check them out. I love it. It's the only bags I'll travel with.